you want to hit and not get hit. What is up guys, Nero here from Nero MMA. Today we're going to be talking about in and out footwork and how you can improve your footwork and reduce the amount of damage you take when you're sparring and when you're fighting. Let's do it. All right, so when you're working the heavy bag, one rookie mistake that I want you to avoid is just standing in front of the bag, standing in range all the time, and just throwing shots. That is great for working on your punching technique, but today we're gonna incorporate our footwork as well. So we'll be working our defense, our footwork, and our technique. So as I said, common mistake is just standing in range all the time and throwing shots. But today we're talking about in and out movement. Get just out of range from the bag, where you can't reach the bag, neither with punches or kicks just outside of range as you would be when you're sparring and fighting when you want to throw your punches and kicks you actually have to step in just as you would in a fight so what I want to do is I want to step in and then step out get in boom, boom. move out I'm just out of range here I move in move out get inside get out of range Now in the beginning, don't worry too much about the power and the strikes. What I want you to focus on is just being out of range, stepping in and then stepping out. Work on that in, out movement. So offense and defense starts from the feet up, if you ask me. Standing toe to toe with someone and just exchanging strikes leaves you at a 50-50 advantage. You either win or you lose. Now moving your feet, using your footwork to avoid strikes, making your opponent miss, using your feet to set up your strikes, controlling the distance, that is what's gonna make you a better fighter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Or if you have any questions whatsoever, ask me. I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Until next time, thank you guys for watching.